Okay, welcome to another video. So I'm going to be talking about in this video the circular, uh, circulation, circulatory system. So, okay, so think of the transport system, okay? Uh, sorry, think of the transport system of our body. What's the transport system of our body? It's basically blood, uh, arteries and veins, right? So blood, you can think of the people and goods in cars and trucks. And the arteries and the veins are like roads and freeways, okay? So transport system of our body is made of blood, arteries and veins. They think of the blood as people and goods in cars. Arteries and veins, think of them as roads and freeways, okay? So it's a big network in our body. Okay, it's all, um, it's all kept moving by the heart, okay? All of this is kept moving by the heart. Okay, this is called the circulatory system. It's made of the heart, blood, and arteries and veins, okay? It basically transports nearly every substance uh, which needs to be moved in our body, okay? So examples of transport, so transport um, oxygen, carbon dioxide, CO2, um, digested foods, and other chemicals, okay? So the arteries, okay, let me start with the arteries. So the arteries, right, they're basically tubes which carry blood away from the heart. Okay, obviously you need red looking rich blood, oxygen blood to go to the different parts of the body, right, for use. Okay, these um, divide into even smaller blood vessels and finally into the tiniest of blood vessels called capillaries, okay, so these can be divided. So if you zoom in with a powerful microscope, you can see blood vessels into tiny vessels called capillaries. Sorry, blood vessels called capillaries. Okay, capillaries are the tiny blood vessels that make up arteries and veins. Okay, these now capillaries are near every cell, they're near every cell in the body. Okay, now blood flows through them to get food and oxygen to every cell in the body. Okay, so let's say you've got skin cells here. You've got a capillary here somewhere. This feeds um, uh, feeds a blood. Okay, so blood fed into cell via capillary. Okay. Now, as the blood moves towards the heart, right, the capillaries join together to larger blood vessels. These are called veins. Okay, we write that down. So veins. Um, made of capillaries. Okay, and these carry blood to the heart. Okay, the veins, as you see here, I don't know if you can see, they look bluish, okay? The, blood not, the blood's not actually blue. It's just a tint of blue in the blood. Okay? It looks blue, but it's not, not really blue, the blood. It's just got a lack of oxygen. This has to go back to the heart, right? By the circulatory system. So let me now talk about blood. I'll use red actually for the occasion. Talk about blood. Okay, well, blood is basically made up of cells, right? So you've got red blood cells. Okay. Um, these carry a substance called hemoglobin. Carry substance called is a spell it. Hemoglobin. Looks like goblin, but it's not goblin. Hemoglobin. Basically, the hemoglobin it basically attracts and carries oxygen. Okay, very important. And it also contains iron. Okay, iron, which gives it the red color. It gives blood its red color. Okay, um, blood containing oxygen and red, right? So, blood containing oxygen, oxygen is bright and red. Without much oxygen in the blood, without much oxygen in blood, you get a blue tint, blue color. Okay, example is in your vein, right? So that's called deoxygenated blood. I'll talk about that later. It means there's a lack of oxygen. Okay, so they're red blood cells. Let me now talk about white blood cells. 
Now, these things are very important for when it comes to fighting infection. Okay, so these are bigger, bigger than red blood cells. Okay. Um, there's not much in the body as compared to red blood cells. There's trillions of red blood cells in the body. Okay, these basically have the job of fighting infectious infections and viruses. Okay, bacteria and, and viruses. So they're white blood cells. We've got platelets. Okay, these are broken up cells, so, uh, so chunks of cells, pieces of cells, broken up blood cells that help blood to clot okay so if you get a cut okay you've got platelets they're the first guys on the site the platelets come in and they help the blood to clot okay so they're pieces of blood cells finally you've got what's called plasma cells okay plasma plasma cells okay these are clear sorry not plasma cells it's just called plasma basically a clear yellow liquid It's got a mix of red, white, red and white blood cells and platelets. Okay, so it's like a suspension. And uh, here's an interesting fact, 90% of it, of um, plasma, is water. 90% water. That basically helps, it's got the main job of helps regulating body temperature. So if you have a fever, these guys, if you have a fever, this guy comes in to the rescue. So it helps regulate temperature, temp in body. That's blood. Let me now talk about the different blood types in your body. Use a different color. Okay, now there's many varieties of um, human blood, right? As you, I'm sure you know. Now for blood transfusion to take place, right? To be successful, the blood has to be matched between the donor and the recipient. So a donor is the person giving the blood, recipient is the person receiving the blood. Same blood type. They have to have the same blood type, right? It can't be O and, and A or A or B. It has to be the same. Let me talk about these. Now, as you know, blood contains... Um, oh, sorry, actually, no, you probably don't know. Blood contains at most two types of antigen. Okay, two types of antigen. A or B. Okay, now antigens are basically special chemicals they're involved in fighting microorganisms in the body, okay? Fighting off like bacteria. So special chemicals. Okay, that's made found in blood. You've got type A, here are the types of blood. Type A contains, you guessed it, antigen A. Type B, dot, 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 contains antigen B, okay? Type AB contains both A and B. Whereas type O, now I've got type O blood, contains neither. Okay, it doesn't have any of them. And I should also mention that um, type O is the most common type of blood uh, in the world. Okay, so type O, sorry, O positive, and I've got O positive actually, which is great because in case you know if there's an emergency or something, I can easily get have access to blood from someone else, knowing that a lot of the population has type O positive blood. So they're blood types. Let me now talk about the Rhesus factor. Okay, the rhesus factor. Basically another type of antigen. Okay, so rhesus, sorry, rhesus is another type of antigen. So you have A and B, and then you have rhesus. Another type of antigen. Okay, now blood containing the rhesus antigen is classified as rhesus positive. Or Rh positive. Without it, blood is called rhesus negative. Okay, so let me write that down. Blood containing uh, the rhesus antigen is called rhesus positive. Okay, positive means it contains something. In case you forget, okay, so if your coronavirus positive, it means you've got coronavirus. If you don't, it means you're negative. So Without it, without the rhesus antigen, it's called rhesus negative. Okay, you don't have it. Now, rhesus factors all, um, must also match from donor to recipient, okay? Exactly the same thing with blood types, so they don't mix. Okay, and also, or I should also mention, sorry, that capillaries, remember I talked about capillaries, small blood vessels in the body. They need to have a large surface area to volume ratio 
to allow for efficient dis, um, diffusion of nutrients and waste between the blood cells and the body cells. Okay, so let me just draw that up so you can understand it more. So let's say you have cells here, you have capillaries here, okay, inside the body. These capillaries obviously have to be big enough. They have to have a big surface area and volume. The bigger they are, the more nutrients can go through, through the um, cells and into the body cells. Sorry, through the so the, the more red blood cells can travel through the capillaries and into the skin cells, for example. Right? That's what it means to have a. Uh, that's what efficient uh, efficient diffusion means. Efficient diffusion. Remember, diffusion is flowing from area of high concentration to low concentration. Okay, so low concentration is the cells, high concentration is the blood. So blood contains red blood cells, goes through into the body cells. So that's the rhesus factor. Let me now talk about blood vessels. Actually, I, did, I did actually talk about this, but I'll um, mention some more stuff. So blood vessels, okay. They're basically tubes which carry blood around the body, okay. As I mentioned, there's three types, arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries carry blood away from the um, heart to the organs, okay? Um, and the arteries have to have, very important, have to have thick elastic walls. Why do they have to be thick and elastic? To um, put up against the great pressure, to withstand the great pressure, the blood pressure. Okay, so they have to be thick, the arteries. Capillaries are small, okay? They're only about one cell thick. So capillaries, only about one cell thick. That is, um, these basically lie close to body cells, as I said, and allow nutrients to flow through at all. These are the most common type of blood cells, blood vessels, sorry, capillaries. Then you have veins, right? Okay, these are wide tubes made from capillaries. Now these allow blood to return back to the heart, as I mentioned, okay, to get another load of oxygen from the lungs. Okay, now, how do veins stop blood from flowing the wrong way? Through valves. So valves are like things that open and shut. They allow, um, sorry, they prevent blood flowing wrong way. Okay, so backwards, for example. The veins. Let me now talk about the different uh, conditions of the circulatory system. Now, bruises, okay? So different conditions. You've got bruises. What are bruises? Bruises occur when there's um, blood leakage from ruptured or broken blood vessels, okay? And they get, and you have different colors, okay? So equals leakage or leakage from broken vessels. Okay, these have different color, obviously. Bruises can range from navy to uh, yellowish. Also want to talk about blood pressure, high blood pressure, or hypertension is another word for it. Hypertension. Hyper means high. Okay. Um, what are the causes? Stress, um, and they increase your risk of heart attack, right? Hypertension. Also salt, a lot of salt and sugar can cause hypertension, high blood pressure, um, leads to a heart, increased uh, risk of heart attack. And there are two readings that are taken that are measured for blood pressure by a doctor, okay? So readings okay, for blood pressure. First one is when the heart um, contracts, okay? When it contracts, this is called the systolic blood pressure. Okay? Second one is when the heart's relaxed, right? This is called the diastolic, diastolic blood pressure. Systolic and diastolic. Um, and a typical blood, the normal blood pressure reading is 120, um, 120 for systolic over 80 di distolic, right? When the heart's relaxed. And that's this lesson.